Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'll be sharing with you my easy gizzards recipe. And I just finished making chips masala. So if you're interested in seeing that video, I'll link it over here. And then I'll just wear this apron to change the aesthetic. And um, I hope you enjoyed this recipe and let's get into it. Before I start preparing these gizzards, these are just gizzards I've chopped up into bite sizes. I will leave this to marinate for one to two hours. So I've already salted this, added ginger and garlic and I'm going to do a herb marinade with some basil. I'm also going to be adding some bay leaves. A bit of paprika and some turmeric and then before I mix this up I'm going to add some dark soy sauce to have this vinegar you can use any kind of vinegar or you can use lemons uh, for the ingredients of now cooking the gizzards after they have marinated, I'll be using some chopped onions. I've just chopped them into half rings. And then I'll be using capsicum, this green capsicum, amahoho, some tomatoes. I've just grated them. And then I'll be using some dani at the end and some chilies. And I'll probably add some other spices as I will, but you will see as I cook. I'm probably going to use some other spices as I cook but you'll just see them as I continue cooking. These gizzards have been marinating for a couple of hours, maybe three hours. I'm just going to add them in with their marinade and then I'll lower this heat to a medium low heat and then I will cover this up for like 20 minutes. The marinade had some liquid and the gizzards they release their own liquid and then they will cook themselves and I will come back and do the rest of the steps this has been cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes um, the liquid has already dried down and I want it to dry completely before I add a bit of cooking oil you know this this gizzards could actually be eaten like right now like this but I'll just I'll go the extra step of frying them a bit in some onions and tomatoes um, so I've added one tablespoon of vegetable oil, then I'll add in the onions next. The onions have softened enough and now I want to add in the grated tomatoes. I'm also going to keep scraping off the sides of the pan because a lot of the marinade has stuck to the sides and that has a lot of flavor. So as I keep going, I'll keep scraping off the sides. I'll also add um, about half a tablespoon of coriander and just about quarter a tablespoon of curry powder. Unfortunately at this point KPLC happened and there was a blackout and I usually use artificial lights in my kitchen because of how dark it is. So I was pretty much done with the recipe. I, the only thing I added was the chopped ho-ho, aka capsicum, aka green bell pepper, and a bit of dania. I covered for about two minutes and let it steam for a bit just for the ho-ho to soften slightly. Also, I didn't forget to remove the basil leaves before I served because who wants to eat a whole basil leaf? So that was it. I served it on a plate and I garnished with a bit of chili. I really hope you enjoyed this video maybe you picked something up or now you have the urge to um, make gizzards 
or eat them at least and thank you so much for getting to this point of the video to everyone who subscribed and watches my videos thank you so much i really appreciate all of you for the support and if you haven't yet please subscribe and like the video if you liked it and i hope you have a lovely week ahead bye